in this wonderful warm weather. Oh, it's awesome. I mean, it, you know, the we, we brought the rain with us the first couple of days, and, and uh, you know, we were beginning to think that uh, it was Portland wherever we went, you know, in terms of the weather. But, you know, it, it cleared up, and, and it's been beautiful ever since. So perfect days, uh, perfect weather to train in. For the first time in quite a long time, you're at a different camp than you've been at for many years mm -hmm. with Rail Salt Lake. What's, mm -hmm. what's it like? What's the difference? Yeah, yeah you know, um, there's a, a lot of similarities, a lot of differences for sure. Uh, but I would say that this group just seems like... Um, uh, in terms of similarities, just, uh, they've got an identity. Uh, you know, they've got a, a, a way they play, a style um, that's very similar to, to Real Salt Lake. Um, the group's really tight. You know, coming in here, you can tell you guys have a lot of good relationships and on and off the field, uh, which always leads to success. I think. Um, you know, and, and Caleb's done a great job of uh, keeping us sharp and, and keeping us fit. The beard you've got going, do you think that's something the Timbers Army is going to totally appreciate being, you know, the Timbers and lumber and so forth? Well, I was told that's why they traded for me. You know, that's, what, that's what Gavin was telling me. Uh, I, I think that, um, you know, I, I'm excited to interact, you know, with these these fans and, and, and get back to Portland and, um, you know, just embrace that community because it's just such a, a fun, soccer-loving community. and. Uh, everybody's you know been really friendly so far. You seem like a guy that does get out in the community a decent amount. Um, you were a fan favorite in Salt Lake. Have you been able to get out in Portland, meet a lot of the fans, any of them yet? Uh, you know, we, my wife and I got to uh, tour around a little bit uh, with our son. Um, you know, our, our first weekend there, and you know, we did kind of the touristy thing, and we posted it on Facebook, and we got some some you know positive and negative comments just based on uh, where we went because uh, some people said it was a little bit too touristy. So I think we're we're going to go in, and we have to go a little bit deeper into the community now and, and kind of get to know uh, you know some of the less touristy places. What's it like for you and your family after so many years in Salt Lake? Obviously you've now been here a few weeks you're down in Arizona but mm -hmm. the transition? Uh, you know it's been really smooth uh, you, you know um, we moved out really early in January so that you know, we wouldn't have the stress of, of doing that during the season. Um, the, the Timbers organization has been tremendous just in making sure that you know uh, we're taken care of, you know, with, with, with anything that we need, and um, you know, our neighbors are really nice to, uh, down in Lake Oswego. So, um, you know, I, I think everything's been very smooth so far. You said uh, you have a son. How, how old is he? He's seven months. Seven months. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he's been. Uh, it, it was funny. The first day we moved in, uh, he started crawling. So I think that was just a, a sign of uh, good things to come. <laughs> For you, um, you obviously have adjusted to different center back pairings, but you've had some consistency in Salt Lake over the years. Um, what's it like with the process um, when you're adjusting to a new guy uh, in a, that kind of pairing? Yeah, you know, it, it's um, it always just depends on, on, on the pairing, you know, for sure. There's going to be some things I do better than the guy next to me and some things he does better than me. Uh, but really, it's just kind of about establishing that relationship and that understanding uh, about, you know, when, when I do something, how does he adjust and, and vice versa. And, you know, it's been really good, I think, with uh, Norberto and, um, you know, anybody else that I've played with so far. And it just, you know, Caleb's already got a system, so um, that helps. And then, you know, I, I just have to come in and adjust and, and, you know, help make the team better defensively. What do you think your role alongside Liam is going to be? Obviously, you guys are both veteran players, uh, both leaders, um, how, how are you expecting that to kind of um, work, that pairing? Uh, you know, I, I'm very hopeful it's, it's going to work well. Yeah, I think that, you know, with, with the kind of experience a guy like Liam Ridgewell has, um, you know, in, in, in uh, playing in Europe and already getting half a season here under his belt, you know, I, I think he, he knows how to get the job done. And, um, he, you know, I've heard really good things about, you know, how he's, he's been with the team and, and I'm excited to work with him and, and, and just uh, you know, make sure that uh, we're both on the same page.